fucking don't know how to. Okay, I found a way out. Thank God. Fuck you, little spider. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to a noob's guide to black arachnia, aka the broodmother. The spider comes. So there's a lot going on in the world right now. So naturally, I figured this would be the best time to completely give up my old MOBA and start grinding on a new one, having just enough experience to understand basic micro and macro play without any clue whatsoever what anyone or anything does. Wait. Only one person gets a buff? Hmm... Cheese... Runes, couriers, all new items and characters, jungle camps, secret shops, denying creeps and towers, vision, not having flash... All of it works just slightly differently from what a veteran league player would expect. And I'm having a lot of fun learning everything. No, no really. So today, I want to do an overview on one of the first heroes to catch my eye, the Broodmother. She's an agility hero that uses her summoned spiderlings and fast attacks to push down towers and overwhelm caught out enemies. Also, I definitely picked her because my girlfriend got really excited that you could just be a giant fucking spider. Black Arachnia is a big ol' spider mama who lives under a volcano, but some guy named Pethlopli- some guy set up his magical fortress with treasure on top of her lair, so that any adventurers would have to get through her first. She got lots of food, but her babies were frequently put in danger. When she confronted about it, and he refused to do anything, she ate him up. Big surprise. But then, with news that he was missing, more adventurers started pouring in, and one ended up stepping on one of her babies. So Broodmother did the only logical thing and decided to kill every single thing that could ever possibly hurt her children. Like a protective soccer mom. Except she tries to literally kneecap her kids' opponents. You know, it's funny how it was one spiderling being killed that set off Broodmother, because like... Yeah. Th they're, they're not doing so hot up here either. Broodmother's first spell is Spawn Spiderlings, a ranged point-and-click nuke that injects eggs into her target. If the target dies shortly after, one to four spiderlings burst out and can be controlled by Broodmother. What the tooltip doesn't tell you is that the spiderlings apply a weaker version of this baby birthing goodness on their own, where if an enemy dies shortly after being bit by a spiderling, they spawn a spiderite, a weaker version of a spiderling. Using this ability, Broodmother can turn a creep wave or a jungle camp into a bunch of little babies who can and will nibble you to death with their cute baby mouths. I mean, are you sure? Like, like there's a lot of them. I, I really don't, I really don't think you, sh hmm. Y okay. I mean, sure. Use your spider links to quickly siege down towers, farm while you're busy, or push your enemy laner off the creep wave. Her second spell is easily her most important one, Spin Web. Spinning a web creates a large area that gives Broodmother and her babies free movement, increased movement speed, and a bunch of HP regen. She can spin webs within range of herself or any other web she's already cast. While she normally caps out at 8 webs at a time on the map and a 65% speed boost at max rank, Agonims upgrades this spell to have up to 18 webs and have 90% move speed. That's like almost half the goddamn map that you can just crawl all over at Mach 4, so say goodbye to all your jungle camps if she ever gets ahead, because they're all spider babies now. Her third spell is Incapacitating Bite, which passively gives Broodmother's auto attacks a debuff that slows and gives enemies a chance to miss. I, I don't have much to say about this, aside from the fact that the icon is, is, really, is really gross. And finally, her ultimate is Insatiable Hunger, which buffs Broodmother for 14 seconds with 60 to 140 bonus attack damage and 60 to 140% lifesteal. Pretty much no one can stat check an ulting Broodmother without some good disables and crowd control, which usually you won't because she'll have hit you with an orchid or a bloodthorn and a defusal blade before shimmying up to you. So if you get caught out of position, it's, it's game over for you, buddy. 
because her webs give her so much HP regen, buying a soul ring is a must, since your spells will run you out of mana pretty fast, and you'll regen back the health you spend using it. You can go into shoes at that point if you want, but I often find getting a diffusal first is more important since your move speed is so fast in your webs, and you usually don't ever want to leave your webs. Any items that give you attack speed, damage, and disables are good, but especially Orchid and Diffusal Blade, since they help prevent anyone you catch out from escaping. She doesn't have a lot of survivability if she gets locked down though, especially since she's so lifesteal dependent, so a Black King bar is highly recommended in the mid to late game. You can buy an Agonims and a Radiance if you're doing well and if you want to be a split pushing menace, or a Butterfly if the enemy team is super auto attack focused. As for neutrals, your best tier 3s are Paladin Sword, Greater Fairy Fire, Titan Silver, and Mindbreaker, and your best tier 4s are Ninja Gear and The Leveler. Since Broodmother is at her strongest when she's in her webs, she can easily take over a lane, but her effective roaming areas are limited, and she can't effectively switch from one lane to another unless she's had time to build up her spin web charges. She works best as a split pusher much of the time, forcing enemy heroes to come respond to her before she skitters off. As such, be sure to bring wards if you intend on pushing up. Also, you can click and drag over her webs to select them and delete them. This makes it so you can control which webs get removed when you cast more than your web limit, since it will otherwise just delete the oldest web you have up. As said earlier, Broodmother is very susceptible to hard crowd control, relying heavily on her ability to skitter away with her webs and Black King Bar to stay alive when confronted by multiple heroes. She has no AoE whatsoever and is very single target focused, so she doesn't usually do well in teamfights unless she's really ahead. Her spiderlings are especially vulnerable to AoE damage, so anyone like Zeus, Lina, or Razor can handle her easily in lane, and Earthshaker's ultimate may as well be called The Boot for how well it squashes spiders. Thank you guys for watching my noob's guide on playing Broodmother. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and hit the bell, and let me know who I should learn about next.